Buona giornata and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania. If you are new here, ooh, so today, I cannot believe, I ordered this on Friday. It's Monday. It's already here. The new Tati Beauty palette. Um, I am super excited for this. I am going to try to be really critical though and give you guys my honest thoughts. Yes, I'm excited because I am a Tati fan, but that doesn't mean that's going to influence how I feel about this because I spent my own money on it. Um, so all said and done, it was $59. I did just do normal shipping. So we will get into this. Look at the, the box. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to throw the box away, but um, it is nice. It's a nice picture. Uh, but yeah, this, this baby came wrapped. I'm ready to put on the eyes. We will do comparisons of different formulas and kind of give you my thoughts on what it compares to in the makeup community since this is her first product and whether it's worth the price or not because I know a lot of people were like it's more free packaging or blah 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 like it's all about the name so we will see I'm gonna stop blabbing we can put some sparkle on these eyes and let's get into this video please don't forget to subscribe before we get started I would really appreciate it come be part of my little family and let's jump in okay so this is what it comes wrapped in it seems like it is very nicely wrapped, which I appreciate because I've gotten plenty of things that are broken when they arrive, so I'm happy that she wrapped it well. It's not as much fun with bubble wrap, but this is probably a little bit more friendly. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, and then here is the palette itself, and it's just like a little sleeve that comes out. I will say, like, I would have rather had it be packaged kind of like Manny's. Like, you can see, like, that is the packaging of Manny's, so... The way it looks in terms of like the book idea, I liked the PR package because I was like, oh, that's going to be great. Whereas like, this is still cute, but it's it's going to be really tiny. You're not going to be able to necessarily, like, it doesn't replicate a book unless you get the PR. You know what I'm saying? Which is okay. So I will say, right off the bat, just feeling it, like, it's textured nicely. It's kind of like NARS packaging. It is definitely not... The cardboard packaging that I feel like a lot of people thought it would be like so many comments on trend mood and Tati's were just like oh like it's gonna be cheap packaging it kind of looks like a Morphe palette and I'm telling you like it does have nice weight to it and it's very nice and soft it's gonna get dirty and uh, I'm not a clean person so it's gonna get very dirty but you know I'll wash it off if it matters anyways you do get a nice big mirror. This is what the palette looks like. So I thought there's been so many people to do swatches. So I thought let's play with a few of these like on the eyes before actually doing a look. I am a little bit concerned that like if you are rough with this palette, it might break. I don't know if you guys can see like the way that the glitters are pressed into the pan, but I'm a little bit like, oh, please, please be okay. Um, we will see. But yeah, I thought like especially the sequins row, which is like the matte with a little bit of glitter. I kind of want to just pack a few different formulas on my eyes and see how they look and then do a full look together. So we will jump into that portion now. All right, so I'm going to take this little brush from Sonia G. This is the Worker Pro. And I really want to... Let's try out the Soothe row. So obviously they don't have names. It goes by the theme and then the finishes. So I want to do sequin finishes first. So we're going to start with this shade right here. And I just want to see what it looks like packed on the lid by itself. Don't mind my eyebrows. They're going through a stage right now where they're like super dry. Um, like I had like, like dandruff brows. A lot of pigment comes off like right off the bat so just know that I did go ahead and put powder down just because I'm scared so I will prime my eyes before the whole look but I thought just to do quick swatches you're gonna see my lid vanage okay uh, I just want to see what these look like on the eyes it's one thing to do swatches but she said to kind of just go lightly in I would say like let's do the other side too and then we'll, then we'll talk so next, let's go in with Story, which is the orange shade. It's a really, really pretty, like, brick red. So I would say in terms of the sequence, like, I can see the glitter actually more in the lighter shade. I don't know if you guys can. Um, but I wouldn't say it's, like, as much as I necessarily thought it was going to be. 
If you don't love glitter and you just want a little something extra than a matte, I think it's there, but I wouldn't say that like, oh, you can really see the glitter in these shades. So really pretty colors though, very vibrant, and it did not take me more than two dips. I just wanna see what they would look like, you know, by themselves, because I'm not someone who does all matte looks, so it would be nice to have something with just a little bit of glitter but it seems like they're going to be really fragile like you can see the tiniest bit but but definitely not necessarily the way they look in the pan okay so the orangey shade definitely left a little bit of staining which is not i don't mind it like it's so vibrant that it i expected it but just just in case you were wondering i think this row like story you might get a little bit of staining as well as like the the purpley type shades that's just normal so next let's pack on some metallics because I want to see how these work. So I'm trying to do ones that everyone hasn't done. So I'm going to go in with Poet, which is the maroony ones. And I'm taking this on a Sonia G Builder 1. And we will get it wet in a second. But I just want to see how the metallics are on their own as well. I think I'm gonna do a smoky, like use the darker shades of the palette because I feel like everyone's done kind of the same looks so far that I've seen. And I'm gonna just uh, have a ball playing with some makeup. So it is, it's there for sure for a metallic. It's not like, oh my gosh, metallic, but it's it's definitely there. So let's go in with Rachel Well. Ooh, I'm actually really dying to use Story. Let's use Story. You guys know I love my rose golds and my peaches and I really wanted to do a look with that, but I figured it'd be nice to see something a little bit different. All right, now let's see what they look like wet. So I'm gonna go back in with Poet, the metallic. Okay, that definitely amped it up from before. Really pretty, I would say it's still a very, very nice metallic. I am gonna compare it to some other ones and, and other brands, so we will see how they kind of stack up. But so far, it, it's good, I like it. And then let's go in with the brush wet with the other one. I'm gonna pick up a different brush just in case it transferred to the other side. All right, so this is the shade Story packed on. Okay, yeah, definitely wet is better than dry. The, like, the dry is still really nice, but the wet definitely amplifies the shadows a little bit more. So this is what you get with the metallics. I'm gonna wipe this off and let's do a whole look. All right, so I'm gonna take the shade Soothe and just start working that into the crease. Like I said, we're gonna do a smoky eye, so I made sure to put a crap down, a powder down there, just in case. But I will say like, Obviously we're, we're using the palette right now, so we'll see. But for her, it being her first like launch, the customer experience was really, really good. Like I was shocked like by how easy it was. Like I saw that little like, you're in line to check out and I was just like, oh no. Like, and I was like on the website right away. And you know how those things go. Like I've been on websites where that can take like an hour. Like I was very, very surprised that I was checked out within like three minutes. I didn't notice the dollar upcharge, but apparently there was a dollar upcharge for shipping than what she had originally stated. And then I already got a refund for the extra $1. Like I did not notice it, but it was just the whole process. And the fact that like I've got it this fast and I didn't pay for express shipping. Uh, I am in Arizona, so I don't know this ship from Vegas, I think, but it was already like shipped on Friday which is pretty much like unheard of. Like usually I'm I'm like, all right, we'll take at least like three or four business days for when I order from another company, except for like Pat McGrath, which takes like a, a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, the whole process of like customer checkout, very nice, very nicely wrapped. Like she did a good job. I'm very, very impressed by that whole bit. So what I usually do is like when I'm doing a black smoky eye, I will put like an actual like coal pencil down on the lid, but I feel like I just want to see how these perform without that. So we're going to do it like that. I think I kind of want to take just a bit of story, that orangey shade, just the slightest bit, just to make it a little more interesting than just a black 
and just blend that a little bit above the crease. But like these shades, you definitely just need the slightest like tap to get pigment. Like, don't go crazy, okay? All right, and then on my MAC 239, I'm going to go in with Memory, which is the black. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the matte shade. Let's actually go in with Ritual. I was gonna go in with the black, but I'm kind of changing up my mind and saying, you know what, I wanna see how the browns work. So let's go in, it's still gonna be a really deep eye. But let's go with a brown. I feel like I haven't done that on my channel yet, so. Sometimes black is just, is just a little much. All right, so that is packing on very, very nicely. Very nice mats. Okay, and surprisingly, like, look how dark that is. I know my eyes are turning red. That has nothing to do with the shadows. That's just how my eyes are. They get super sensitive to eyeshadow, so that has nothing to do with the palette. I do always put drops in before I film, just in case you're wondering. Not on drugs. It's just how my eyes are. So... Ritual, like the dark brown. Notice how I really didn't have to put, like like I was saying, I usually put like an eye coal underneath to make sure that it's nice and dark and there's no, you know, streakiness or anything. But no, like that brown like went on. Like she packed on, I don't know why I say she. It packed on um, really nicely, really opaque. I really didn't have to go in with much. I'm gonna go back in with the Story shade, which is like that reddish and just kind of blend that edge a little bit more. All right, and then in the same row, we're gonna take the glitter shade. This is what I'm most excited about. So we're gonna take the Ritual Glitter shade, which is this one right here, and then we are also gonna take the one in Soothe, which is like that one, which, oh, oh, so we're gonna try out two. So let's go in with Ritual first. Oh, that's gorgeous. So look at that reflect, like this is why like this is what sold me on the palette, like was the glitter row. And then let's go in with the other Soothe shade. If I didn't have nails, I would be way more precise with this application. I really need to go get my nails done though. I don't have the patience to sit there. So there's definitely a little bit of fallout with the glitter. It's not like horrible. We'll talk about some ones that are similar for sure. And then I'm going to take that packer brush. I just want the outer V to be just a little bit deeper. So I'm going to mix Ritual and Memory, which is the black, just like the tiniest bit, and just kind of pack that on that outer edge. All right, I just put black in the waterline, and now I'm going to take Ritual on a flat brush, and I'll probably use a little bit of Story to smoke it out. I'm just gonna leave this glitter right here because really I I might clean it up a little bit, but I don't mind it there. Like I'm just still like, oh, it's part of the look. And like I said, I did get a little bit of fallout. I'm happy I used this, like for sure. All right, and I did want you guys to see like the black shade. Actually, yeah, we're gonna tight line just a little bit with the black. It is such a nice black. Like you really don't have to tap in much and it's it's there, which I love. Like, if I'm gonna use a black, it's gonna be a black. You know what I mean? Focus. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Story. I'm gonna focus it more on the outer rim. I don't want it to go too far in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera, and then let's do some comparisons and all that good stuff and give you my thoughts. Okay, I forgot about that in a corner, so I wanted to show you guys what I was gonna do. So I am going to take I'm gonna take the Aura in Metallic, which is the whitish row. I will say I love that she included included like the cream row. I, I talked about that with the Carly Bible too. I feel like a lot of palettes now, they don't put in like the matte cream shade, which makes it so much easier to like blend out. Like if I went too, too far with this smoky eye, like you need a good white to kind of, like or a cream shade to kind of blend it out. You know, it just makes it so much easier. So I feel like it is like, I like that she included the cream shades of the palette. So we're gonna take Aura, which is, no. Let's take Aura in Sequin, which is like that matte with the glitter. And you can see them, but like, it's not like I would reach for this in particular, like the glitter 
like the sequin shades like over any other type formula so okay okay so this is the finished look i will say i love the way my eye look turned out i like that it's not just a plain like classic smoky eye and it, like it's really the glitter that i feel like stands out i did want to show you guys a few different swatches that way you can kind of compare them to different companies and or brands and kind of see what you think so these are the tati metallics these are the um anastasia these two and then these bottom two are natasha nona so you can kind of see like tati's are very smooth and they did go on intense especially when wet so i'm not complaining by any means but i wouldn't say like they're super high end compared to like this is the natasha nona metropolis palette so it's more in the anastasia range so it's high end but i wouldn't say it's like luxury and it's it which is great because it's not luxury price i still think it's gorgeous on the eyes but i wanted to kind of give you guys some comparison swatches of what i would compare it to and then in terms of the sequin row which is to me like the standout product of the palette for sure um so let's swatch we'll swatch like this pink one okay in the poet row and let's swatch it right here so kind of what she was saying is it lifts off the finger and it does go everywhere. I would recommend though, I tried to go back in with a brush with my eye look and it does move around the glitter. So I would definitely try to do that as your last step. So there is the swatch of the Poet shade. And then the only thing I could really think of in terms of pressed glitter eyeshadows that I have in palettes, like yes, ColourPop has them. They're super chunky though. Um, but Pixie has some great ones. So that's another option for you. But let's swatch something that's kind of similar. So this is the Pixie one. And I kind of want to see if she was, like what she was saying was it doesn't usually transfer all the way. So let's just see here. So eh, my Pixie one did too. So that, those are both fingers. So I would say they transfer about the same. Um, I still, I like the Tati Beauty shade better. But with these, like you get a ton of fallout. I can use them without... A glitter glue but I usually do use a glitter glue in them we'll see how much this moves around but just to kind of give you guys some options if you're just looking at like oh I just want the sequin shades or I want to know quality wise what I should get overall I'm very happy with the palette so yeah I would say like this is quality that I thought it would be for Tati I feel like $48 for the amount of shades that you're getting is not bad this is a palette I could definitely reach for on a daily basis um, the only thing is, I mean, it's a little bit sizey. Like, I thought it was going to be smaller for some reason, which I'm not complaining about. I just mean, like, I need to be careful and not, like, put it on the counter because if it falls, I'm scared that those sequin shades will break. I would say if you are not, like, someone who likes glitter, that's the person I wouldn't recommend this palette to. I really think the glitter shades is what makes this palette so unique. Like, yes, everything else worked well, but we all have... You know, if you're a makeup lover, like you probably already have these colors in your collection easy. Um, whereas the glitter shades are the most unique to me. So I feel like if you're going to buy this palette, you should really think about what you're buying it for rather than just, you know, I don't want to just say like, oh, buy it. It's great. It is. But if you don't like glitter, I don't think that you would necessarily think the $48 price tag is worth it. So my thoughts, I'm very happy. I love glitter. And this reminds me of like an adult palette. Like I feel like this is done so well where I don't feel like it's like kid glitter. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I'm trying to come off the right way. But like this just reminds me of sophisticated like Tati. Like I feel like this really is her. So big congratulations to her. I can't wait to see what other volumes come out since this is volume one. Like I can't wait for her to come out with new lips because I feel like she always has good lip choices. So I'm very happy with the palette it is on a pre-order right now so you can go up and sign up and everything so overall i think that that's great she didn't sell out in two minutes like it was a really good first launch and a really good customer experience i'm very happy i think i've gone over everything i can go over um but yeah that is that is what i think about the tati beauty palette let me know what other looks you guys want to see i'm happy to do them i'm definitely gonna be playing around with this more so if you want me to film that let me know Anyways, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts and opinions? Leave them down below and I'll hang out with you there later. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.